was among the most catastrophic natural disasters ever to strike Nepal. The 2015 earthquake killed nearly 9,000 people, wiping out entire villages and triggering a deadly avalanche at Mount Everest. Tonight, we hear stories of survival from some lucky visitors who escaped the carnage and witnessed the harrowing footage taken from inside the danger zone. It's one of the most majestic, oh. yet dangerous places on Earth. Mount Everest in Nepal's Himalayan mountains, towering more than 29,000 feet above sea level. Two years ago, on April 25th, disaster strikes. A 7.8 magnitude earthquake hitting Nepal, killing nearly 9,000 people trapping climbers on the world's highest mountain. When I saw this thing, I, I figured that's it, it's over. There's no surviving this. American filmmaker Michael Churton was at Everest Base Camp covering a team of climbers when the earthquake hit. At only 17,000 feet, base camp is normally considered safe. It's about, you know, 11, 11 o'clock or so. We're all sitting there just hanging out, and then all of a sudden the earth moves like that. It gets very violent, or it's very hard to stand up. What was your first reaction when you felt it? I gotta get my camera. Michael managed to capture a few heart-stopping moments just as the avalanche thunders down the mountain. I saw this giant wave basically coming. It was just a massive wall, like an Empire State Building thing of just ice and rock. And I could see ice and rock shooting out at an incredible speed. He and the other climbers scramble for whatever cover they can find. It looks like a horror movie. It was about seven or eight seconds from the time that I saw that that the impact would happen. So I yelled, get down, and then yelled, get down again. And Embrace for impact. Right. What happened around you in those seven seconds? M my mind was like, where can I go that's safe? And there was a, a concrete kind of a rock structure that the Sherpa had built. And so I'm like, if I just put my shoulder against that, I'll, I won't get blown away. That's what I did. Everyone else kind of scattered. One person scattered this way, one person scattered that way. But there really wasn't any time. He prepares for the worst. Just like, so this is how I die, huh? but he didn't. When I popped up, everything was gone. An entire 27 tents were just completely sweeped away, and it looked like that was for all of base camp. Yeah, it was just destruction. He was lucky. 19 people died on Everest that day. Among the dead, three Americans. Michael was suffering from a concussion, a broken nose. And I realized like I was a casualty because you can see the way people look at you. And I guess I just had a lot of blood coming up. He somehow managed to hike down the mountain to safety and was taken by helicopter to Kathmandu two days later. Michael's narrow escape documented in the Smithsonian Channel's Nightmare on Everest. But the climbers on Everest weren't the only ones trapped by the deadly quake. California native Kat Heldman was in Nepal on a month-long adventure. 